we mentor one another or promote our sisters to be the best that she can be. Well, that's the first thing I'm going to go over. And I'll repeat that. Why don't we mentor one another or promote our sisters to be the best that she can be? The next point, why don't we accept the advice when our sisters try to mentor us? Mm, all right. And then the third point, knowing who we are and promoting the potential in our sisters. As women sometimes, we compare ourselves to other women around us. And we determine our worth, our importance, our success, or virtue against what we see coming from the lives of other women. In 1 Samuel, the first chapter, verses 2 through 8, Hannah and Penina Penina were at odds with one another. We all know the story about those two women. Both of them were married to the same man, Elkanah. Hannah was the one that he loved more, but Penina was the one that had given him children. So Penina was the adversary of Hannah. She was jealous of her because of what was within her. So instead of the two women working together, they were at odds with one another. Now, I want to demonstrate something for you real quick. I'll break this in. Now, with gift bags, if you look at a gift, on the outside, they are all pretty, aren't they? All these are pretty. The box is a pretty gift. The bags are pretty bags. They're all different on the exterior, but all still pretty. The only difference is what's on the inside. They all have something on the inside. So that's how we are. God created all of us pretty on the exterior because he created each and every one of us. And he said everything he created, it is good. So we got to first be mindful of that. I'm good because God made me. Now, what comes from the inside of it is totally different. Now, this particular one, it has within it discerning of spirits, the word of wisdom. Now, this is a different one. It looks different on the outside. Still pretty, though. Still of importance. It has healing, word of knowledge, and giving. So these were the things that were on the inside of this particular package. This particular package, still pretty. It looks different from both of these packages. Interpretation of tongues, diversity of tongues, different bag, different size even, but still pretty nonetheless. It has something on the inside of it to offer as well. Love, intercession. Working of miracles. And then there's this bag. This is different from all the other bags. A different size. Has a little bit more on the exterior of it. But nonetheless, still has something different on the inside. Prophecy. Faith. Administration. So, although all of the bags and the box gift were pretty on the outside, as we all are pretty on the outside, just with differences on how our exterior looks. We have something different on the inside to offer the gifts that God placed on the inside of us. We have to look within us for those things that he placed in us and use it, not what he placed in somebody else. So the problem that took place with these two women is they couldn't help one another because they were dealing with so many of the issues that we face even in these times now that we live in, like inadequacy. Wondering, what am I missing that she has? Aren't I just as good? Inferiority. Am I not good enough? Barrenness, which was the problem that Hannah was facing. Not reproducing. And it was embarrassing because she wasn't reproducing. Because 
in these times, the people were waiting. It was, it was always good for the woman to have children, especially to give her husband a son. So she was embarrassed about the fact that she was not reproducing and her womb was shut up and she was not reproducing. Now, we always feel like we have to reproduce a child because the Bible said be fruitful and multiply. And yes, it is good to be able to reproduce a child. But sometimes we have to be reproducing in other people. We're supposed to be effectively witnessing to other people to reproduce after our kind. If we're living our lives a certain way and we're meeting other people that aren't saved, that have not come to Christ yet, what are we doing to reproduce in their lives for them to come to Christ so that they will be in the image of Christ, reproducing after our kind, Christ-like. 